We want to welcome you all today. We're here tonight to celebrate Jim and Rhonda Hoyt and what they've done in the bike business for the last 50 years. And uh, it's a celebration of what they've done and what they're going to continue to do. We're going to have some dinner and then we'll have some presenters come up and talk about um, what, what their life experience has been with Jim. Part of this here today is, is not only to celebrate what Jim has done in the bike business, but also for the people that are around here to share some stories and tell how Jim has touched their lives. We want to do that. We want to open it up to ask a few people to come on up. And so the first person I'd like to ask is one of my dinner companions, Gerald Hallwell, who uh, sold Jim his Dallas location. People won't believe this. 20-something years ago, Jim bought my store. Since then, we've never had a crossword or a dispute. Wow, things have changed a lot. Uh, I mean, the store was probably about as big as this, be correct. Uh, the warehouse is about as big as that right there. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, I just want to take a brief moment to say a few words about my good friends Jim and Rhonda Hoyt. Uh, guys, uh, really, what can I say? Uh, I've known you all, both of you, for a very long time, uh, living there in Richardson. Uh, when you first had this bike shop, uh, that was just a little corner shop. I bought my first uh, Schwinn Mag Scrambler there. But to see the development and the growth uh, of the shop and of the business and, and really the, uh, the friendship uh, has meant so much to me. If it wasn't for those early days, Jim, uh, the good lessons, the bad lessons, the hard lessons, uh, I appreciate you for all you've ever done for me. Uh, you are, uh, and it's easy to say, uh, but you really are uh, a legend. <laughs> How do I describe Jim and Rhonda in one word? How do you do that? Uh, the word I chose was integrity. We were at a bike show and uh, uh, myself and a couple other dealers were out. Don't tell that. No, no, this one's, it's not that one. This is a different one. <laughs> and so Jim got to start at the local bike shop, showing them you know how to take service to the next level. At 12 years old, he's back here trying to sell bikes and do stuff. and. He went to go work for Swin, Chicago. He, uh, young Hoyt there, and uh, his mentors and uh, uh, in the early uh, 70s. This is a slide from Hotter Hell. Rhonda has done every Hotter Hell, and which I think is 30 or 31 Hotter Hells. So bravo to Rhonda. Oh, goodness, where do I begin? <laughs> Let's see, Lance was 8. Yeah, he was 8. Eight years old, whenever I walked into that little bike shop, I lived in Las Cortez Apartments bike shop was right across the street and and Lance said I want a bike and oh I want that bike and it just happened to be the most expensive bike in the store so I said we'll take it and I think kind of the rest is history not all y'all know me but today I had a fine relationship with Jim <laughs> and he enjoyed it <laughs> these very gloves I haven't washed them yet <laughs> My wife bought me this new phone, and it's one of those smartphones. I got a picture. <laughs> if I could figure it out, it would be on this screen. You know, I've, I've known Jim for at least 25 years. You know, Jim has taught me things that are different than many of the people here in this room. And what he's, what he's brought to me is a, a, a sense of, of leadership. I thought I'd present you with this, which is a negotiation starter kit. <laughs> and I'd like you to just open it, and, and we can share with everybody some of, the, some of the important tools that are in that little, that little kit. 